Wee! There is a spicy, spicy rumor floating around the internet. I've put together all the pieces of the puzzle, and I'm ready here today to confirm or deny whether Ding Dong the Witch is dead. Now, I want to be very clear, okay? I do not support uh, her firing. I don't support uh, uh, her ex's firing either. See, the, the problem is it's a trap that is easy to, for all of us to fall into, including myself. I do it all the time. It's, you know, principles are something that you have to constantly be thinking about, um, you know, to supersede your emotional reaction to certain things. If we believe that JD should not have been terminated, then AH should not be terminated. Um, and I know that's a difficult pill to swallow, and I feel and I and I feel you a hundred percent. And in a world where things aren't fair, I understand the inclination to feel happy about this, and I'm not gonna take that away from anybody. But I think it's important to remember that the bigger fight is that neither one of them should be losing their jobs for like offset, you know, personal things. The same reasons we fought for Gina Carano. You know, these people, unless it affects their ability to do their job, it really shouldn't be um, something that's considered. Now, in my opinion, am I going to shed any tears over what appears, at least in my opinion, to be a vile person getting their comeuppance? <laughs> no, I'm not going to shed any tears. I'm just never going to push for it. Now, you can see there's been several little nuggets leading up to this kind of bombshell um, that... Uh, is circling, circulating the internet. So back on Valentine's Day, it was argued that she was removed from Snyder's Justice League um, after not being in the trailer and or credits, although I'm pretty sure I saw her in the trailer. Um, but you see a lot of people saying, so Snyder's Justice League trailer is amazing, but you know what else you got? The below image. We've had AH going around saying, I'm a big part of the Snyder cut. Where is your name, A.H.? Hmm. They got William Defoe, Connie Nelson, J.K. Simmons, but not you. Now, it's entirely possible it's been missed, right? Um, but when you look at the title credit screen, you know, Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill, Gal Gadot, Amy Adams, Ray Fisher, Jason Momoa, Ezra Miller. I mean, if you're going to have Ezra Miller in there, you would think you'd have A.H., William Defoe. Um, Diane Lane. These are like much smaller roles in this film. There are people like Jeremy Irons who probably have that as a part of his contract. But it is interesting that there was no presence here in the credit screen. Um, then a lot of people buy girl seeing nowhere. AH in the Snyder cut. That's good. Meanwhile, several mocked AH saying she was a nobody because she was missing in the trailer and the credits. It's official. She's a nobody. Um, well, this on top of obviously proof that remember when she promised to donate all that money that she got uh, from JD in their in their in their settlement. Well, she never paid it. <laughs> she admits promised seven million charitable donation has been delayed imagine that see imagine expecting people to believe that she is yet to give the seven million dollars to the american civil liberties union and the children's hospital of la despite promising to do so in 2016 she claimed that the 34 year old actress is facing financial issues during due, due to her ongoing legal battle <laughs> she's never gonna donate that money she's never gonna do it by the way if you're enjoying this video please make sure you leave a like on it and if you haven't yet please do consider subscribing now there now you start at so when you go when you're like online and you're looking at kind of these rumor sites you know there's kind of the entry-level rumor sites Rojack Daily or maybe some of these other sites. Then you got like the premium rumor sites. We got this covered, Cosmic Book News. These sites will print complete unfounded garbage, 
but they'll also get it right sometimes. So when you, it's, I think, at least in my opinion, it's fine to report on it, but as long as you're being very clear with your viewers that like, hey, <laughs> consider the source. And we look at, and this isn't to disparage rojackdaily.com, but it isn't exactly variety. Um, you see here, if there's ongoing, if there's one thing people are associating Aquaman 2 with right now, it's definitely not how Jason Momoa looks or how it's going to be directed by a Malaysian born, the Malaysian born James Wan. Instead, fans in JD's camp want AH to be axed from the movie. JD's fans launched the petition. Obviously, we have this push for Amelia Clark. Recently, local movie theater operator TGV shared a piece of interesting news. Quoting Forbes magazine, quote, it now seems that Warner Brother may have fired AH from the DC Extended Universe. Hashtag Aquaman 2 to replace her with the Mother of Dragons. A quick internet search reveals the original article dated December 31st, 2020 is legit and has recently resurfaced. According, however, according to Reddit users, the article, the article contains highly unverified news. Now, understand this about Forbes, too. Forbes is a content platform. There are people that are very are relatively uh, reliable there. You know, even though you might not agree with their opinions, guys like Eric Kane and Paul Tassi are reliable, trustworthy people on the site. But there are also other people on the site. Um, you know, I don't know that there's that big of a barrier to entry, I'll say. Um you know, we all we know a lot of fans want to see the Game of Thrones reunion on the silver screen between Momo and Clark, but it looks like this rumor will remain a rumor until the studio finally confirms the sequel's lineup. Obviously, we've seen a lot of um, you know kind of fan art like this, and here's what I would guess. You know, before we get into the real, you know, the the, the article, the two articles that really try to put all this together. I don't believe that um, that they would, in, in this case, or really in any case, um, just recast the character. I believe that if they're going to do anything, it would be to just write the character out and bring in a new one. And, you know... Mera is really not that important. Now, there are these rumors of the spin-off series and things like that. Um, you know, maybe maybe Amelia Clark is going to play Mera in the spin-off series. And you see this article again, Fandom Wire, uh, another one of those kind of entry level rumor sites, but again, that doesn't mean they're wrong. I mean, they're they have a massive Facebook audience, they understand clickbait. Um, so understand that, of course. However, this all stems from a, uh, a, a tweet from Digital D. Daniels. According to Forbes, it now seems that Warner has also fired AH from the DC Extended Universe. You see, so did Forbes just let the cat out of the bag that AH is fired. Read the second pick. So when we look at this actual tweet here, what is everyone basing this off? Well, and this article is still there. It's an article about... Um, Amelia Clark selling her home for more money than any of us will ever understand. But then under here it goes, her BA Thrones role, BA Thrones role, ca catapulted her to the A list status, leading to physically demanding film roles such as Young Sarah Connor in Terminator Genesis and Kira, Kira in Solo, uh, Star Wars Soiri. I don't know, I'm probably not pronouncing that name right. She also signed on to replace A.H. as Mera in Aquaman 2. Think about that. It's, it's right here in Forbes. Now it says, While no official confirmation has been released from Warner Brothers regarding Clark's casting, the decision can work wonders as it will once again reunite Clark with Jason Momoa. The Game of Thrones pair shared the screen as the couple, which led to earlier speculations of Clark replacing her. Now, I don't necessarily, I mean, it's such a weird sentence. It's not like a typo. It's a sentence that, that's written like as a matter of fact. Now, the, the writer is a senior contributor, Keith Flamer. <laughs> um, they have not issued a correction from what I'm told. 
Um, it's interesting to me. I don't think they would just replace her. I think re recast. I think they would just write a different role, and and that's possible. That's possibly what they're doing. Like they bring in Amelia Clark as a different character, but even the rumor sites are working to disavow. Age has not been fired from Aquaman 2, despite recent rumors. But again, all it says here is Mera will be will next be seen supporting a scene as a supporting figure in ja Zack Snyder's Justice League cut. There's even been talk she could be upgraded to a more prominent presence in the league following events of that picture. Furthermore, AH can currently be found in the new version of The Stand on CBS All Access, wherein she appears as someone I don't care about. I mean, I don't know. This says here, given how the everything's going on between her and her ex, and that's not going away anytime soon, it's hard not to see Aquaman 2 receiving a lot of scrutiny as it gradually heads out into production. The studio have continued to back the actress in the last year, though, and it seems that she's still very much in contention for other major roles in Hollywood, despite negative online campaigns for now, then, uh, for now, then we can probably rule out a recasting. It's possible. You know, again, though, of course, in recent weeks, it's been reported that she was angry at Warner Brothers for bringing in another female lead, reducing her screen time in the Aquaman sequel. However, she's apparently set to get a pay raise for a part in the movie, too. So it's hard to really know what's going on behind the scenes. Meanwhile, campaigns to boycott it and rumble on in the background with the everything going on between her and her ex. Here's what I think is probably the truth. They probably are bringing on another female lead. Um, and it very well could be Amelia Clark. Do I think Warner Brothers would legitimately recast Mara? I don't think so. Uh, I could be wrong, but it seems unlikely. I think what's most likely is that they would reduce her screen time. Because as we saw, remember now, as we saw with Gina Carano... Disney said that they were primarily pissed at her because she was taking away from the from the Mandalorian, um, her controversies. Certainly, as the marketing for Aquaman two spins up, it's going to be on every tweet, every poster, every you know news article in the comment sections. People are going to be bringing up her past. Uh, the the people that want her gone aren't going to forget. And Warner Brothers clearly knows this. Can we take this as incontrovertible evidence They've been that she's been fired? I don't think so. But you can't automatically rule it out. I mean, it's in print. It'll be interesting to watch. And sure would be one spicy meatball if it were true. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.